Rumors over Kim Jong-un's health have been flying around ever since April 15th, when he missed birthday celebrations for his late grandfather, the founder of North Korea. Speculation continues in the Korean press this Monday. On many front pages, you'll see this satellite image released over the weekend by a monitoring website. It shows Kim Jong-un's train at a station in Wonsan, a resort town on North Korea's east coast. Papers suggesting he is there to either avoid contracting COVID-19 or to receive medical treatment. The reality, though, is that for now, no one really knows what's going on with his health. The U.S. cartoonist John Cole calls him Schrodinger's dictator, a reference to the famous paradox Schrodinger's cat. Inside the tightly sealed box that is North Korea, the leader is simultaneously alive and not alive. Meanwhile, in Spain, children hadn't been seen for weeks until Sunday when they were allowed out of their houses for the first time in over 40 days. Their photos are all over the Spanish front pages this morning. El País writes that the day went by without major incidents, but did see a few temper tantrums, including from one little girl who said that she had forgotten how to ride her bike. Here in France, the big question is whether or not kids will actually be going back to school on May 11th. That's the date the government has announced schools will reopen, but the Scientific Council, which advises the government, is recommending schools stay closed until September. The paper Le Parisien says that the conflicting advice only amplifies an already heated debate among educators. The paper compares reopening schools to mission impossible. Finally, for all of those getting bored of online classes or online meetings, one farm in California has a solution. Invite a llama. The Independent writes that the so-called Goat to Meeting initiative allows you to invite a llama, a goat, a cow, or the farm animal of your choice to a live call. The prices start at $65 for 20 minutes. It doesn't say whether or not the animals are willing to appear on live television, but I think France 24 could certainly give it a shot. <laughs>